I told her the exact ATM she used in Enugu. That was when she started confessing everything. She actually jumped fence to go. So you're welcome back to my channel. Guys, today is a story day. Yes, we are not teaching, we are not doing any recipe, we are not doing any tutorial, but we are going to gist today. I don't know if it is only me, but I've had my own share of bad house help. Like, this one almost took us to prison, guys. Like, almost took us to prison. If you've had similar experience, please, I would like to know in the comment section and how you handled it. Because, see, today, part of me is still feeling guilty that I did not handle it well. Let me... ago i had this house help that i got from all these agents you know all these people that will come you pay them and they will bring someone for you you'll be paying the person but they will take their percentage i don't know the agreement they normally have with the person but you that needed a house help will always pay up front okay so that's what we normally do here in the city if you really want to get someone if you don't have like a close relation that will come and live with you when you are left to what the society out there has to offer you as a house help my dear two things are involved it is either you're so prayerful you go down on your knees to keep that person in check and to get the most or the best out of that person or you kukuma leave your job and come and be babysitting the person because two things are involved like i said it is either they are good or they are bad the ones that are bad are at the extreme like they are so bad then the ones that are good you wouldn't even want to let go so that is just the story of our life here in the city hello guys sorry for that break in transmission like i started making this video for over over six hours now to be honest <laughs> so i must finish the, i must tell this story today in between the video i had to rush to the market to get a few things <laughs> checks and kitchen i beg leave that one I was telling you guys how I had my own fair share of bad house help, okay? So it all happens that I got one from all this agency. You know all these people that will bring somebody for you, you pay them, they share money. I don't know, they take their own percentage or stuff like that. So it's not like I really know this lady, okay? So she came to my house and everything was okay till one fateful day when I was still working. I called her from the office because I needed her to do something for me. Let me see if I can sit down a little bit. Everything was okay. See, this faithful day, I was at the office and I needed to tell her something. Maybe something she was supposed to get ready for me for dinner before I could get back home. And I called her line. She did not pick. Strangely, I called several. She didn't pick. So I had to send someone to go and check up on her to know if everything is okay surprisingly there was nobody at home like she wasn't in the house so uh that was where the panic started because this girl just came newly from the village and she doesn't know so to say like in my own opinion i thought she didn't know anywhere around the city so we searched for her everywhere we could not find her i had to call my husband get people involved my neighbors they were like they didn't see her i, I was like what would i tell this people this girl's parents because you to get to that level it will not end with the agency you get at a point you have to get the family involved what really happened to their daughter and you know our mentality for you know they will say you've used their daughter for rituals so that made us to be so scared and we contacted the guy that brought her the guy said that she didn't stop by or she didn't even call him went to the station to police station to lodge a complaint they said okay but they will not declare her missing till after 24 hours that was how we kept on calling her line at a point around the that was around they say to seven in the evening she picked and she was like i don't know where i am oh i don't know where i am oh 
my heart skipped okay now give somebody phone around you give somebody phone so that the person will tell us actually where you are your location so there's nobody here there's nobody here i said where are you are you in a desert where are you she said she wanted to go and make her hair and she lost my husband started calling that same line the line went off i died a thousand times that night i did not sleep like everybody in my house, if you were in my house that day, this is how all of us sat down in the sitting room. We don't know, we didn't even know what to do. We prayed, we made every effort to search for her. We kept on calling, we did everything that we could. Even the agent, the guy that brought her, everybody was in the house. That was how all of us sat in the sitting room till the next day praying and hoping that this girl would come back safe only for her to call us in the morning that she's on her way that she's coming back we started waiting from that morning till around let's say 2 p.m that was when she came back i didn't go to work my husband did not go to work and the blessing came back and the blessing was not looking stressed and the blessing was not looking worn out and the blessing was looking refreshed and where are you coming from she said uh, that she went to make her hair and uh, she got lost she didn't know where she was so that was how she now had to see somebody and slept there a bit slept on under the bridge i don't even know i can't even remember the story she told me that night after the whole long story i just told her please can you just go inside and refresh at least who had a relief to an extent so that evening i was discussing with my sister who is a banker and my sister was like okay how did this happen i just told her that i paid her because i paid this girl like today she disappeared the next day you get so she said okay you paid her like today the next day she disappeared you say okay so are you sure some people did not like charm her or did not make any withdrawal for her from her account. Okay, give me her account number. Let me check and see if there's any transaction. That was how our <laughs> investigation now started. I gave her the account details and after like five minutes, she called me and she was screaming. She said, sister, come, 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 come. What is happening? Do you know that this girl went to Enugu? I said, Enugu from River State, from Portacourt. She said, yes. That she did the first transaction at Upper Avenue. She did the second transaction at Rant Trans Ekulu. Like, she burnt down the whole money that I paid her. She did three different transactions. And the last one was a POS that she used. So, ah, I was like, like, how do I get out the truth from this girl? So me and my sister will now devise the means. She told me, okay, see what will happen, eh? Call her and tell her that you hired a private investigator that had been following her. And now tell her all these details, you know? That was how I got back from work that day. And I called her to my... Yeah, she sat down. I was like, ha, ah, how was your journey? She repeated that same story. I said, okay. But blessing, I'm sorry to tell you that I hired a private investigation, that I'm not a fool. There's no way I will just bring you into my house without at least doing some security check and backups for my own safety and for my sanity as well. So that from the first day you came into this house, there's been a private investigation that an investigator that has been following you up and down, but you did not know. That I know that you went to Enugu. You withdrew money at... Uh, so, 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 and so bank, ATM. Immediately I told her this, she turned blue. You could see guilt. You could see her like, you know, somebody that you caught red-handed. I watched her countenance. I laughed. In my mind, I said, Gen -gen, I've gotten her. <laughs> that was her blessing. Now started confessing that her boyfriend was in town. Her boyfriend and asked her to come down to Enugu so that they will meet. That was how she, she didn't know what to tell me. She didn't know how to go out. So she now had to jump fence. She jumped fence to and sneaked out from the backyard and went to Enugu, spent the night, came back the next day. After putting us through that trauma, 
So my dear, the story that followed is another long story. At the end of the whole thing, that trip got her pregnant. She got pregnant and uh, that was how we ended up with blessing. You know, and since then, even hubby said, if it's not a close relation, we are done with house herbs. Before they will drive us crazy. Like before they will even get you into some serious trouble that you cannot even get your head out of. Just can you can you imagine if anything had happened to her on that trip? What would have been our fate? What would I would I have told people that happened to my girl or somebody that is living with me? So that's what I came to share with you guys today. Like I just remembered, I said, okay, let me just share this story with you guys and uh, let me know if anybody had, had a similar experience and how you handled it. Because just like I said from the intro that a part of me is still feeling guilty that i didn't handle it well because when we found out that she was pregnant she actually started begging me that she had a baby before which the mom was taking care of in the village or is taking care of in the village rather and going back to the village to take it to to have this second baby will kill her mom I said, but why didn't you think about all these things? Because at the end of the day, we found out that the boy responsible, he was actually a boy, actually came down to buy jam form. Like a teenager that have not even entered the university. So you that have had your first baby, you did not learn from that. You went and opened yourself up for another Oh, come on. I, th I see, yeah. You see, wisdom is very far from some of us, to be honest. I even wanted to her to stay back and have her baby in my house. Trying to be a good citizen. What else can I offer? But my sister had to reset my brain for me and say, if anything happened to this girl because of having this baby, we will even start from, why, why, why do you always think that everything is possible just because you have a good heart? My dear, that was how I now told her that it won't work. I and Hobby will just have to give her the little we have, settle her, and ask her to go back. Is that you go back to your mom or just find your way that we cannot really do it? Would I have left her in my house or did I do the right thing by allowing her to go? So, guys, this video is entry 15 minutes and I don't even want that. So, until next time, let me just cut it here, okay? And see you guys in my next video. I have a lot to do in the kitchen. See, my eyes are even weak. Like I'm already stressed, okay? So see you in my next video. Don't forget that I love you. Stay tuned to my channel and stay safe. Bye.